Hi guys, in this video we're going to continue where we left off in part one of Twitter mining with R. As you recall in that video, we set up the authorization with Twitter's API. So we're now given permission to search Twitter for tweets. Okay, so I have my code here for this entire project. And let's just review quickly what we've already gone through. So what we've done is we've installed the Twitter with a capital R and R curl packages and we've loaded them into R. And then we went through this authorization process. Okay. Now we will continue to actually now search some tweets and get some examples of tweets so that we can eventually clean them up and build a word cloud from them. All right. Uh, before we go any further, let's install packages that we, we will need in this section of the uh, mining process. So you're going to go ahead and install TM package. This is uh, probably the most popular text mining package in R. So go ahead and install that and then require it. And then go ahead and install package packages word cloud. So this is this is a package that will create very cool looking visuals of text so a word cloud it will be our eventual kind of um, conclusion on, in this tutorial so let's just get these packages out of the way we're gonna need them remember require them so load them up okay I've already loaded mine and word cloud get both of them in okay and once you have them both in we can get on with the with searching Twitter finally okay so let's search Twitter for something that's kinda of relevant today or or this time of uh, in history which is this earthquake that just happened in in the Himalayas <clears throat> so I'm calling these tweets him earth and so I'm assigning this name to to this function here search Twitter be careful for the cases so this is Twitter's uh, the Twitter packages main functionality to search Twitter I'm gonna search for the words earthquake plus that means and the word Himalaya language English I'm gonna search I'm gonna up this to 500 in a second but that's how many tweets I want and the type of result I want is recent. Let me scroll over so you can see this. I want the mo I want the. Let me change this to 500. So I want the 500 most recent tweets based on these search words that I earthquake and Himalaya. Okay, if I hit enter, it'll take a second, and what it's doing is it's searching Twitter um, and retrieving tweets that satisfy these search terms. Okay, so we're done with that process. Now, him earth, if we look at its structure, or let, rather if we look at its class, because its structure will be quite long, it's a list. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to convert this to a character vector. Okay, because we eventually want to create a corpus. So let's create a character vector. So we're going to use the s apply function, which is just in the in a, a regular function that we will use out uh, in other words it's not unique to the Twitter package so we're gonna convert we're gonna look at the list him earth and remove the text so just take the text actually out not remove it extract it rather and I'm gonna call this him earth underscore text okay now if I look at him earth underscore text if I look at its class or its structure this one won't be as messy you'll see it's a character vector okay, with 500 elements and the first element gives us a preview is this whole tweet that goes on and on beyond this page okay so you see Nepal mountain villages completely washed away quake great okay well not great but it seems like we're getting tweets relative to what we're searching for okay so now that I have this uh, as a character vector I can use the TM package that we just installed to convert these 500 tweets to a corpus a corpus is a collection of text documents okay here 
the, the documents, quote unquote, are tweets. Documents could be emails, text messages, uh, legal documents, resumes, books, and so on. Okay, here they're just tweets. So we're gonna have, we're gonna have a corpus with 500 documents. The documents are tweets here. Okay, so to do this, we're gonna <coughs> use this bit of code here, and I'll explain what it is. So in the TM package, there is a function called corpus, and it's kind of the crux of that package. It will create a corpus out of a vector source. So we specify the vector source as this guy that we just created. This is a character vector. okay? And we're going to assign it to the name him underscore corpus. Okay? So let's do that. So if we look at him underscore corpus, these are things that don't behave like your standard data frames that um, you're used to working perhaps in R. Okay. So you see, we won't get all the tweets or, or the entire corpus uh, spit it out. Instead, we would have to inspect if we wanted to look at individual um, or multiple um, documents in this corpus so we can say believe let's say let's look at the first hmm, we should put the square brackets inside so if we want to just look at the first document in this corpus we can specify it by using the square brackets okay so we have to use it inside inspect okay okay now that we have it as a corpus before we want we create a word cloud we should clean this up so for example look at this first Let's look at the let's look at the first tweet. I have capitals. I would like to remove those. They're not terribly important, but I'd like to remove them. I have punctuation. I have things like this. Um, I have words in here that are not that interesting. By and something like this is not so interesting as well. I would love to try to get it rid of that as well. Let's let's take a look at another tweet. And I could, you could probably see some of the problems that we might have. Let's look at the hundredth tweet. So I have someone's kind of name, who the tweet was from. Um, I have like words like uh, not interesting, used, maybe interesting, smartphone, to, a, right? These are these are not interesting words. I like to get rid of all these things. In turn, okay. So I want to remove. I want to clean up the text. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove punctuation. So I'm going to assign, I'm going to make some a new item here, a new object called him him for Himalaya underscore clean. And I'm going to use functionality from the TM package again. And the function is TM underscore map. So I'm going to take my corpus as the argument that I just created. And I'm going to remove punctuation. So let's do that. Okay. Next, I'm gonna lowercase everything. Okay. So notice the argument here. I'm iterating this guy. So I've removed the the punctuation from corpus. I gave it the name him clean. Now I'm gonna remove. I'm gonna lowercase everything from him clean. Okay. So that's done. That was pretty quick. I'm going to remove stop words. Stop words, it's just a list of words that are not that interesting, like and, the, and so on. Okay? So I remove stop words like this. I'm going to remove numbers because I'm not interested in seeing numbers. You could leave them if you like. I'm going to remove white space. So after I do all that kind of thing, I'm going to end up with a lot of white uh, empty space in the documents because when it removes these things like punctuation, it just keeps a blank space. So this will take care of that. Okay, so I've cleaned up the data quite a bit. Now one more piece of cleaning I would like to do is for this particular for this particular um, text mess uh, it's, it's tweets I search for Himalaya and earthquake so I'm gonna end up seeing those words Himalaya and earthquake quite a bit 
and that would be quite obvious so I'd like to remove those as well it seems like I wouldn't want those to be in my word cloud because that's obviously what I search but you can leave them they definitely be frequent <clears throat> okay and so they would be big words all right so we've we've cleaned the text up here all right so our corpus is cleaned next we move on to actually making the word cloud and so you've installed the workout package right so you can invoke creating word cloud and let's start with the most simple word cloud actually that was a little fancier so word cloud him underscore clean and if we leave it as, like this this will be the default settings let's see what it gives us okay this is quite cool okay so you see big words the bigger the word it is the more frequently it showed up in the in the tweets so mountain village it seems like it's the biggest right mountain Everest Nepal these are words that were very que uh, frequent quake devastated avalanche very interesting so just pick a topic that interests you search Twitter clean up the data a little bit after you create a corpus and then create a word cloud and you get a you can get a su beautiful summary with this visualization of what the tweets are about uh, what people are saying about the topics that you're searching okay so let's just maybe play with this a little and tweak it a little so I could do word cloud and I can say random there is a rather let's use this so you can see some of the functionality here so some of the parameters you could tweak in word clouds you so you, you you define you set the corpus it's coming from random order you can turn this off okay and let's see what that happens So we'll get the same <clears throat> same word cloud, except the uh, it'll organize it less randomly, and we'll get the bigger uh, bigger words in the middle. So the more frequent words gravitate towards the center. Okay, I, I think this is nice, but you you know this is an aesthetic thing. All right, we can mess with the scale of the word cloud by defining the maximum font size and the minimum font size okay so let's see how this looks <clears throat> okay so you could play with these numbers and see uh, what happens so gets a little, so it, it'll make the, the maximums and minimums um, more different than each other or less different than each other so you see this this is nice you could argue I can't read these smaller words um, and in which case you could up this <clears throat> and it also has to do with the size of your screen and everything so play around with these if you don't like the default settings okay and you could also add color so you can add a strict color like let's say red okay you can actually you could do a lot here you can um, do some kind of rainbow effect okay <clears throat> so I encourage you to play around with it and there's also other functionality as well so if you put these all together and you can also mac uh, specify the maximum number of words so if you put these all together you could get a word cloud that's quite informative and quite visually appealing okay that's not bad and I guess um, I'll, I like the default choice of max word so so iterate through this and find some combination that that looks good for you that that's appealing and also of course informative and there's your word cloud and you can copy this and paste this as a bitmap you can actually export this as a PNG image um, so th you, this is a high quality graphic that you can uh, preserve the kind of high high quality resolution of it as well alright so the packages we used in this video were the TM for text mining all the uh, creating the corpus and then cleaning up the corpus 
by removing punctuation and all that was done through the TM package and then we use the word cloud package to create this word cloud obviously okay in the previous video we used the Twitter package and the R curl package to um, authorize our um, uh, our requests from Twitter <clears throat> and then at the very beginning of this video we also used the search tweet to uh, search Twitter to actually get the tweets to get the tweets that we um, ended up u using here as our um, corpus okay so you could do this with tweets you could do this with text messages or any kind of documents that you might have um, as your source and this procedure would be very similar here this series was about Twitter mining so here's some kind of exploratory Twitter mining for you with R very easy um, so I hope it was helpful be sure to subscribe like and share this video and check out my channel the playlist on machine learning data mining and statistics goes through other tutorial videos that are similarly interesting uh, as this one okay so till next time have a great day